So I'm very excited to do this episode for you guys today. As you can see on my right hand side, I've got a computer here. That's for my friend that probably has never seen the light of day. We will be discussing the six tips as well as demonstrating them to you in a live fashion. So let's dig in. Let's see what we have to work with. So the six areas that I'll be focusing on today will be cleaning, cable management, adding new thermal paste, updating your software to the latest version, uh, looking out for malware, and of course, patch management or OS management. So yes, let's dig into this PC. I'm glad I have got this computer because then I can show you guys what to do and how to do it. Now there's a couple of things that you're going to need before we start out. One would be a screwdriver. It doesn't have to be electric. It can be whatever your choice. I'm kind of lazy, so I prefer a electrical one. Some cable ties. Obviously, a side cutter. Some thermal paste. Uh, you guys will remember from a previous episode, I benchmarked this thermal paste and it came to be the best for me for the price. So this is an Arctic MX2. This is around 8.2 micro Kelvin, I think, was the rating. I can't remember. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, this is pretty good stuff. And then, of course, you're going to need a blower. So when blowing out your computer, keep in mind to keep your fans still as they might over exceed the rated limit for them and the bearings might actually seize and I've actually seen this happen or this it might actually just damage your fans and decrease the lifespan let's quickly dig in start blowing this thing out removing the CPU cooler adding some fresh new thermal paste re rearranging the cables and then let's jump into software Okay guys, the last three tips is going to be extremely fast and extremely easy. I don't want to bore you with too much information. So you want to go to Windows Update Settings, Windows Update. You always want to make sure you're up to date. The second thing is you want to go to Avira or Avast, but I, ch I always use Avast, but that's my personal preference. And download Avast. It's for free and it works very good. Once it's installed, it will look like something like this. And... You have silent gaming mode that you can switch on and it doesn't disrupt you, right? The last thing you want to do is you want to go to Malware Bytes. So Malware Bytes has got a subscription, but you can download the 14 day trial. It does just as good. You install it, you run it, and you remove all the infections. So in a nutshell, if you do all these things that I've mentioned in the video, I can guarantee you your PC will live a lot longer. So guys, 
please remember to like and subscribe if you have not done so and thank you for watching